Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and we finally got the fourth beta of iOS 18.2. Now this will also be the last beta of this software update, even though it's actually a big update and I expected Apple to actually go through more beta stages with this software. Actually, they released only four betas because this is most likely the last beta. As you can see right here, this update will come to your device at around 600 megabytes. Always, of course, different on different devices and different based on which software you're updating from. And taking a look here at the build number from for this update, you can see that the new build number is 22C5142 ending with an A, which indicates that this is the final beta of iOS 18.2 before Apple releases the new RC version of iOS 18.2 and then of course the final release but we're going to talk about those updates and the exact release dates in a few minutes here. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new features and changes that you will find on this update which are actually quite a lot. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the new features and changes of iOS 18.2 beta 4 which are actually quite a lot. Now first of all is this this one right here when you go to compose with chat gpt it will give you this new prompt right here which says that you have reached your daily limit of for chat gpt advanced capabilities and then you will have the option to actually upgrade from here previously with beta 3 you would see this only on the settings app when you would go to the chat gpt settings but now you will also see it right here on the compose section and overall, the ChatGPT integration with Siri seems to work a bit faster. What I've noticed using this for a few hours now, it looks like it's actually much faster. Ask ChatGPT to compose a quick poem. And you will notice right there in like three or four seconds we should have here a result and there it is it's actually much faster than before you can try it out for yourself if you had the third beta of ios 18.2 on your device and try chat gpt try it out on beta 4 it should actually work much faster now we also have a new option here under the settings app when you go to settings and go to search you will have the option here to change the search engine now this is a feature that has been on ios before but you could find this only under the safari settings but now you will actually find them right here under the search settings so you go here search engine and you will have the option to, to, to change your search engine for safari Moving on here under the messages settings, you will see a few changes here as well. First of all, they have added a few things here. I believe location is new, which I haven't seen. I don't remember seeing this before and maybe seller data as well. And then you will also have default messaging app. Now, what this allows you to do is change the default messaging app that you're using on your iPhone Previously, you could do this from the default apps under the apps section, but now we also have a dedicated section right here under the messages app. Even though I have other messages app installed on my iPhone like WhatsApp, it doesn't show right here. I don't know why, but again, you will have this new option right here. And the app store section of the settings app has been moved under apps. It used to be right here. Now you will have to go to apps to actually have access to your app store settings. I don't really like this change. I think the app store settings are like more specific than the other apps here. And it should be on the front page of the settings. But actually Apple has moved it here. Now another thing we have here, a slight change. You can see where we have the default app section where you can change all of your default apps on iOS 18.2. Now also it has a description which says manage default apps on iPhone. And on the mail app, when you go to your mails with the new email app of iOS 18.2, you will see now images for your contacts and the persons who have actually sent you an email. And you will notice now they have been updated here. So the little icons, images, whatever you want to call them, are now rounded. And also, if you go to the mail notifications, you know that you have a new option here to customize your mail notifications. Now it looks a bit different. So it says here unread messages in primary it used to be like primary unread messages or something like that and it also has a description here for badge count which now describes basically what you're doing here and clarifies it more for more users so it says choose to see only the number of unread messages categorized as your primary or 
all unread messages on every inbox so it basically describes what it's doing and it clarifies for users what they will receive as badges on their mail app and under the mail settings right here we'll also have now an option to show contacts photos so you will see it right here you saw these contacts photos that you will see right here if you want to have those photos on the mail app you can enable that option from here now these are some of the new features and changes that you will find on ios 18 point two beta four but way ios 18.2 actually is the best is on performance it actually performs great and you can see the score right here this is the latest score with the beta four of ios 18.2 and it still has increased from beta three even though beta three had an amazing score so you can see right here beta 4 the single core score is at 2952 we have just a point increase right there and then the multi-core score is at 7383 compare it right here to beta 3 it has increased for 20 points which was 7363 now of course when talking about new updates one of the major issues and one of the main things that an update has to have is of course good battery life so let's take a look here at the battery life and what we got these are of course with the third beta because the fourth beta has just been released but let's take a look here at a few like different days so here with about 90 percent battery eight hours 23 minutes right here we got about 120 percent battery 10 hours 19 minutes while here we have about 100% battery, 9 hours, 37 minutes. As you can see right here, the performance when it comes to battery has been not bad at all. And keep in mind that this battery is actually at 91% battery health. So this is not a new device, it's a 15 Pro Max. And it's actually performing quite good, even though it has all the cool new apple intelligence features that also do require quite a ton of battery. It's still actually performing pretty good. And last but not least, of course, we're talking about the new releases, when to expect the RC and the final release. Well, now basically the stage is set and I would expect Apple to release the RC version on Monday, November 25th. And as the rumors are claiming, as the report is claiming by Mark Grumman, who is always our very trusted source when it comes to Apple related stuff, iOS 18.2 should be released to the public on December the 2nd so he says that it will be the week of the December the 2nd but most likely it will be December the 2nd because usually Apple releases these big updates on a Monday so expect iOS 18.2 to come to your device on the Monday December the 2nd so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you on the next one